Also, Denver class, Vegas class, and San Jose classes are open for enrollment. West Coast. And I'm using my own monomer right now, the now dead monomer. I don't want to get any powder in there. Be careful when you're using C curve tips, okay? C curve tips, you gotta make sure you have a very good application. The thicker your application, the more wider the nail looks. You don't want to make this nail any wider. It take away from your tapered look. It should be about one credit card thickness. Shaping the nail, see that? Remember, your apex doesn't have to be too large, okay? It's just for you to, for when the nail breaks. So, control your application, make sure that's not too much. And this is ideal right here, okay? Apex, stopping from the cuticle area, base of the nail, even all this, we can always shape clean up underneath this the transition i'm probably gonna put a little more power here by the cuticle area just a tiny bit that's it okay but i'm happy with that that's the difference between working with c curve just gonna make sure the base is nice and even right here leaning the sides of the tip brush on the flush look is definitely from your application. Um, I'm doing it right now. One, two, three. And with my monomer and this chisel powder, it's just it's just an amazing pairing. I'm so glad that it <laughs> works so well. See why I even out the tip earlier? Because I'll make sure I have a straight edge, a straight surface to pinch off my acrylic to get my shape down nice and crisp, just like that. Shout out to Oregon. <laughs> What's up, Oregon? Of course, my second bead is gonna be my cuticle bead and also my apex bead. A little bit runny, so I'm gonna hold it a little bit longer. So if I were to put this on the, the nail, I'd definitely be struggling, but I'm gonna hold it on here, let it dry a little bit, then I'm gonna apply it into the nail. My ratio was a little too much monomer there. That's just fine.
excess in here. One of the biggest issues when you guys use C curve tips is that you guys get excess on the sides. Got to be careful with that. If you get too much excess on the sides, it's gonna take make the nails look even bulkier and bulkier. Okay. It's it's hard because yes, it's very hard because sometimes you, you can't really gauge it, but be mindful of the side walls. It doesn't have to be thick the side walls when using C grip tips. It just has to be even. A little bit runny just earlier, and I used a lot of it. So I'm gonna come back up, add a little bit more powder, make sure everything's nice for nest. This will save me later on my shaping and my drilling, okay? Make sure that your application is nice and crisp. Why are you coming down to Oregon? Um, I'm pretty sure Oregon's pretty damn close to uh, San Jose, isn't it? You should definitely, if you're in Oregon, you should definitely make a trip to San Jose for my Cali class. You never know when I'm gonna be that close again. Just do the apex bead and the cuticle bead. And earlier, I had too much ratio, so now I'm gonna reduce my liquid ratio. There you go. See that? Made made my adjustment. You gotta understand when something happens, you just gotta keep, to fix it. No, I knew that I had too much monomer, so I just decreased my ratio, and my powder came out just the way I wanted it. Yeah, this color's really nice. Um, this color's really, really nice because I've used this in my last three sets already. It's just a nice base color. Later, I'm gonna do a black, uh, a black um, high French, and I use my black art gel. You want it shiny, right? Yeah. Oof, man. The key to using C curve tips is not doing too much. Remember, the tips has a C curve. The last thing you want to do is build too much bulk. I just build too much bulk. The whole set looks too bulky. Mm -mm. This is perfect. Perfect amount. I'm going to do my nails back to pick a new. <laughs> Go do your nails. Oh. 
on the giveaway. I'm probably do another one maybe this week with the new top coat, matte top coat that just came in. Also the gel um, paints that just came in also. The black, white, silver, rose, gold, and gold. Um, yeah. So if you haven't followed the Instagram and the pin link below, make sure you do. Now Death Studios, turn off the alert, the notification so you don't miss the post. Sometimes even if you're following, does not mean that you'll see the post when I post about the giveaway. You got someone on camera. No! Just kidding. Just take that off real quick. Appreciate the support on the posts also. We got one, two, three. So thumb, I definitely have to do a little bit more apex. It's a bigger finger. Mm -hmm. Should be enough right there. And we have one hand down. I'm pretty sure that took me about 15, 20 minutes, I wanna say, not too long. I'm too close and that's giving me too much reflection from the light. Certain things cannot be shipped international, unfortunately, monomer. But people do pay for their own EDHL. Ooh, a little bit runny. That's it, hot potato. A little bit runny. See, a little bit running, just hold it a little bit longer. Don't panic. And if I didn't watch the bead for three seconds, what would have happened? It would have bled all over the nail. That's why you guys gotta be careful. You gotta watch the powder before you apply it, okay? Give it some a few seconds to marble and let you know if your ratio isn't good or not. A little bit runnier still. Just gonna clean up this side here. This is when my crimp brush comes into play. Crimp brush gives me a, a nice angle right here to clean up the acrylic. Do not leave it flooded like that. Okay, you can bring it back in. A lot of people, they're committed and they don't do anything. They just leave it there. No, later I'll just drill it off. No. If you can use your acrylic brush right now to get rid of it and mold it out, save yourself some, the pain and suffering, please. Look at that. Save yourself the pain and suffering. Clean it with your brush. I used to ship to the UK, but the stuff get lost all the time and I don't want to be responsible for it no more. Um, I wouldn't want you guys to have issues too.
else is messaging me right now about the top mat and top coat. Hello. People are buying it up. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. There's plenty of those. Yes. I'm getting my nails done. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Clean this area right here. Last thing I want to do is make it any wider on the sides and bring it in. Do everything I can with my application so that later on I'll save myself some time with the hand filer, the drill, everything else, okay? Work efficiently and smart. Don't create more work for yourself because you're lazy during the application. What you can do, what you can fix during the application could possibly save you 10, 15 minutes later on with a filer or a drill. Just remember that. That's important that everybody remembers that. This process right here, what I'm doing right now, is the most important part of doing nails. Not the design, not you know, not any of that. This right here is the most important. Two, three, just like that. Bye. Bye, I'll see you. You know, when you're in a zone when it comes to application and you're just like knocking it out, you don't realize how quick you're moving. Sometimes I get like, I don't even breathe sometimes. I'm just like boom, 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 get them out, boom, boom. This is how you get application done within 15 minutes, 30 minutes. 15 minutes on each hand tops. You're replicating, doing the same thing over and over and over. Same technique. Muscle memory. Just like that. Oof. And we're on to our last finger here. And you guys are gonna see later on with the shaping, it's gonna be so much more easier to shape. I use a 
exactly, holy crap, I used exactly 15 milliliters of monomer. That means that I was very efficient with this application. I didn't waste a lot of monomer. I was able to, that's, that's my, my, my number, 15 milliliters, which is half of my dampened dish right here. Because my dampened dish, I had to made it um, at 30 milliliters. So half of that's 15. So I always pour 15 to get myself used to using 15 milliliters. So I'm not wasting a lot of product. Sometimes product waste is definitely one of the things that nail techs kind of disregard because they don't really think about it. But when it adds up, it's actually a lot of money, guys. So make sure you, you know, be careful with that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it lovely? Okay, so I'm gonna use the rest of this bottom to clean my brush. Make sure you feather that your brush, make sure it doesn't have any resistance. Sometimes if you have acrylic in here, you might not notice it. Money shot. <laughs> awesome. Is it available in South Africa? Definitely not available in South Af Africa. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, guys. You guys are in different countries and states. See, I got a little acrylic right here. I want to make sure I get this out because this is my last set of the day. See how I, I pinched that off really easy like that? Don't pull, guys. Pinch. You just got to put pressure and pinch forward, and you won't damage your, your bristles because the, I've been using this brush so the acrylic, it, it's been getting broken down. If I don't get this out, what's gonna happen is it's gonna harden and it's gonna ruin my brush. So I'm gonna get this out right now during my cleaning process. It's important that you guys do this and make sure you, you keep in mind, this is how you maintain your brushes. You know, no matter how good the brush is, you may have some, you know, acrylic here and there. You gotta be, you gotta be able to spot it out and be able to get rid of it. A small amount of acrylic may not be nothing, but it may add up, build up, build up over time. There you go. I'm going to, have to remove it, clean my brush. I'm going to form my crimp brush where I crimped it, and it's going to be nice and flat, just like this. Get rid of any of this excess monomer. Don't need it. It's contaminated. So this is about 30 milliliters, this dampened dish. It's available on the website if you want it. And once again, the chosen part I use is OM15B. Your application is everything. Thank you. See, it's very nice and smooth. Um, we really don't have to shape a lot. I'm just gonna go through and just do some quick shaping. And C curve just make sure you shape underneath and relax your hand. Okay, remember the more you shape, the worse the shape gets. So just make sure you just do go real quick. Shouldn't be spending too much time shaping because I did my shaping during my application. It's initially like a few seconds and boom, you have that nice tapered shape, crisp tapered shape. Hello, Dasha, Montana, how are you?
That's how fast shaping should be, guys. Should not be something that takes too long. You spend more time, the shaping gets worse. Fortunately, that's the rule of thumb. So if you're spending 20 minutes shaping on one hand, you may be over filing and ruining your shape over time, okay? Everything is nice and even. God, look at that, guys. Cigar tip definitely looks good. You just gotta know how to do them. Yep, this is the core powder. Nope. The clearing, the clear on the acrylic powder is not necessary. This powder is mixed very well. Um, it dries, it's hardened. Um, you're probably used to using um, those really pigmented powders that requires clear. This is not it. I, I'm not about that life. I'm not trying to do application twice, okay? So I do my application once and I'm good. And we're done with the shaping. Golly, this is something about it. I'm telling you right now, if you don't have my secret tips, try it. Money back guarantee. Money back guarantee. If you don't like it, send it back to me. Because you can get just like this. Fuck me. That's nice. Okay. So I'm going to do some quick hand filing. With my hand filing. And then I'm going to do cuticle work. And then we'll go right into the design. Good to know that. I know everyone's different, but. This can buy me some time where I can necessarily don't need to clear. Them. Yeah. <laughs> and no, it's not about teaching. Just whatever products they're, they're using requires them to use clear. It's not about technique. My technique is not basically, I mean, that 
uh, I don't teach not clear. If, if I was using a powder that I required to cap, I'll, I'll cap it. But this powder is not required to cap. It's not even necessary to cap, to be honest with you, unless you're using a powder that forces you to do it. I think it's I think it's ridiculous that I have to do a clear. I have to do a clear over everything, um, and waste time. Like okay, now you have to do application twice. Jesus, no, thank you. <laughs> you want me to do application on the color and then oh what you want me to actually go back through with another clear and do the whole process and step again? Mm, I think not. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy this other powder here that I don't have to require to do that. Yeah, thank you. Next, I pull an Ariana Grande real fast on that shit. Thank you. Next. I don't understand why they can't just put enough acrylic in there to make the powder be a core powder. They have to make you have to buy clear, put pigment down, put clear over. It's kind of annoying to be honest with you. Adding more steps to <laughs> what is already a complicated to some people process. Mm. My brushes are out of stock right now. They'll be back, back in stock this month. I'm sorry, guys. I think they still have hand files left in there. This is a 100 hundred grit by from my line. I save my old older hand filers sometimes just so I can do it for hand filing techniques like this. You want like a nice worn out one. This just saves me time later. I have to drill the whole freaking nail. Everything will be nice and smooth. This saves me a little bit of time, so there I want to go with the drill bit. It's ready to get nice and smooth. I just got to clean it up. I usually do this with like long stilettos or taper. Here, okay. and you can use a drill for this too, but drill may take a little bit longer. Me just prepping my hand filing. Yes, I can spend a little bit longer hand filing and file very, very nice and fine, but my application is really smooth. The last thing I want to do is put a drill bit on here and actually put too much pressure on it and actually drill into it. I think you guys have had, probably had that happen before. We had a really nice smooth application and you kind of like trip up on the drill a little bit and the drill kind of ate away too much of it. And I have to drill everything and back down and even everything up again. French. Okay. Who's initial? And my boyfriend. <laughs> Is he paying for these? No. Why he get an initial on here? I don't like. I don't let like he offers to pay, but I don't like. Who's paying for these nails? Me. It should be your initial on here. True, but I like, don't like. If other you want some, some initials on here, nails. you better pay. <laughs> Coming up here with the initials. Your Q 
cute. There better be some nice letters too. It's just an A. An, what? An A. An A? Yeah. Alex? No. Armando? No. Alexandria? No. Alejandro? No. It's Antonio. Antonio? Uh, that was my next guess. Why do you say that for? <laughs> I was going through all them Spanish names. Okay, so now we go to the kid work. I'll be using my fine five and one sharp. This one right here. Do the rest of the cute work, okay? Remember earlier when I was cleaning out the side walls and all that stuff? This is when it helps me. This is a sharp bit, but it's been it's been seasoned, worn out a little bit for me, so not too bad. And now I can definitely just drill this. It'll be a little bit easier for me because I already did my hand filing. So it's really no resistance. I'm just doing just running through. Just smooth out a little bit more. See that? for a more specific name but he gave you the answer where, is it? where can I find brush and nail files oh where can you find brush and nail files anywhere really supply stores remember get these cuticles flush guys see what I'm doing right now I'm flushing the cuticles Flushing the cuticle area, breaking sure that when this grows out, there's no lips. Question, sure. When do you come to Chicago for class? <laughs> I literally just left Chicago like maybe last month. My, my Chicago class was, uh, what was that? 
the uh, April 19th, 19th, 20th. I'm uh, I'm a West Coast tour now. And we're going to be in Denver, San Jose, and Vegas this summer. Any appointment? Can you close to Maryland? <laughs> no, I'm definitely. I don't think any clients right now. Good evening, Natalie. Yeah, yep. That class is actually with that class filled up really fast. So Chicago filled up within a couple of weeks. I have a very a big support system. A lot of students here in the West Coast, East Coast, I mean. We love you in Chicago. Oh, thank you, Jasmine Asford. Yeah, I get I get random messages sometimes where like people message me like, "Do my nails," and I'm just like, <laughs> "How do you respond to that?" You guys, for all you guys are building clientele. Please build the right kind of clientele, okay? People that might just you like, hello, how are you? How, how's your evening? Interested in being like your client or something. Not how much for this. Do my nails. I need my nails done now. <laughs> how about some common courtesy for us, huh? Or uh, I'll tell people, I'm not taking any clients right now. They're like, why? You're a nail tech, aren't you? I'm like, what? Yes, I'm a nail tech. Just I have my business schedule is full. I'm booked a couple months out, so I can't take a new clients. And they're confused about it. They're like, well, "You're a nail tech, right? Why can't? Why don't you work?" I'm like, "It's nuts." We deal with a lot of clients. It's like just kind of weird sometimes. They're they're so used to just getting stuff done. We as nail techs, we gotta remember, like, you know, we're human beings, you know? We work on our on a schedule. We can always do things. Finish up with this first hand here. Definitely sounds like Chicago. This never comes to Chicago again. Um, you're definitely gonna have to be on the lookout on my social media whenever I announce classes. Cause I, I won't be able to just go through and oh, I remember this person and, and message you. You know, I get like hundreds of messages a day. So um, pay attention to my like, posting and stuff. If I ever post classes again in the East Coast, I'll, I'll let everybody know. Or just look at my timeline or my on my Instagram and stuff like that. But it's so hard for me to find the person and let them know. I might have a website or something with my class. I'm gonna add it to my my store. A class category. Down, guys. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit just so you guys see more of the hands. Yes, I will keep posting, no problem. Usually it's, uh, it's posted on my timeline. I might have like a website dedicated to just classes. Mm. 
Get the dust off. You're gonna wash your hands. What are you worried about? I have to start sealing my cuticles. It takes a while, Jasmine. It's not that easy. Like I told you, and this all has to do with technique and muscle memory. The more you work at it, the better you'll get at it. Okay? So it takes time. Don't rush it. Yes, you're gonna cut clients. I still cut clients. So yes, you will cut clients also. Don't get, you know, there's accidents. Make sure you take care of it, sanitize, clean it. But don't get too traumatized where you're not gonna be able to do cuticle work. You gotta have some kind of confidence when you're doing this kind of stuff. Sealing cuticles it really has to do with confidence. If you're not confident, you're gonna cut the client. I guess that could be with anything. <laughs> I broke a nail, and man, <laughs> hope your apex was there to protect your nail bed. So all I can say, you broke a nail. Start anytime someone starts sense with I broke a nail. Oof! Here comes the story. <laughs> Finish up here. We're gonna do some nice black deep French with the initial A, I guess. You still with the same guy? You got A last year. Haley. Is it the same A from last year? Is this the same initial, the same A from last year? No. Really? A different A? It was a C. Was oh, a C. wow. A C. Carlos. Just start with Carlos. <laughs> Is it Carlos? It was Carlos. Carl? Yeah. Carl? <laughs> What is he like? Fifty-five, it's middle a, aged, balding. He was like a third. So he like his grandfather and his dad. Whenever I hear Carl, I just think of an old man, yeah. someone's uncle that just got out of <laughs> prison since the sixties. Carl's coming back, spinning the joint. Carl, oh my god! I would not name my kid Carl. Like someone's dead. I'm glad you had, you dumped him before he start setting up a 401k for you. <laughs> a retirement plan. Before you know it, you're buying timeshares.
I'm sorry, if any one of you guys have a kid named Carl, I'm just kidding, okay? <laughs> but let's be real, if you watch Walking Dead, that little shit, Carl, I hated him in the first whatever seasons. I just cleaned up underneath, can any, where there any excess here? See what she's asking. Why, when I encapsulate something, it seems like I'm taking my clear, I'm taking my clear off, and my drill bit is not, 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 not. What? Why, when I encapsulate something, it seems like I'm taking my clear off? Is it my drill bit or not enough acrylic? It could be not enough acrylic, or it could be your drill bit. If your drill bit's super like coarse and you're drilling too hard, you may be removing it. Um, so when you encapsulate, you gotta make sure you gotta encapsulate enough. This shape is so sexy. How much clear are you putting on relative to what you're encapsulating? Depending on what you're encapsulating too. If you're encapsulating big glitter, yeah, you're gonna need a lot of clear. If you're encapsulating like small, thin stuff, maybe not so much. It needs to be very, very, very easy with your drill. The drill will remove powder easily. Especially if you're running at a high speed and you're pressing down too much, too much pressure. I'm gonna use my new black art gel. You guys are gonna like this. It's so pretty. This is a new formulated one. I'll probably do a giveaway for this scene. This and all the other ones. Silver. Silver. Oh, I can't really see it. Silver. Look at this rose gold. Of course, you guys saw earlier the gold, which is a fan favorite. It's a nice. Stop watching. <laughs> I don't know, Carl was annoying in the beginning of that series. I feel like I put three big bees. If you put in three big bees of clear, it means that you're probably dragging the bee when it's too wet and it's actually it thin they thin out without you noticing. Appreciate. Yes. You meant to appreciate the application, the smoothness, the smoothness, smooth, smoothness. Um, I'm gonna use my flat brush. Also, I'm gonna get some acetone to clean up this flat brush. We're gonna do a high V French. God, I... 
the last day of the day. I'll see you guys tonight for the Q&A at 10, 30, 11 Eastern time. If I've missed your question, I'm going to answer it then. But for that, we're going to definitely take this black. Do a little bit of outline first before I do. I fill it in with my flat brush. <clears throat> Look at those black guys. Look how well it applies. Tell me. Come on. It's like one coat. Doesn't lose its shape. Look at this pigment. How easy it is to apply. I think my black is like my flagship gel. You don't need much, so that's way too much. I'm just gonna fill these in and then I'm gonna go back through my liner brush and make up, look at that. Pigment is so nice, but it's so easy to use. And you don't lose your shape because it's not too thick and it's not gonna take away your shape that's why you use gel that's why you can't use gel polish for these this stuff unfortunately i'm just gonna try to fill in as much as i can i'm gonna go back through with my liner brush my striper brush and i'm gonna fill in all the other stuff that i couldn't do because if 
you know. He doesn't always get so quiet whenever I do art. Why is that? <laughs> Anybody sitting there holding their breath? Please tell me it's amazing. <laughs> You're watching me doing it right now. I'm <laughs> We're all messed for <laughs> We're all focused. Thank you guys for being focused with me. All right. That's, that's, that's what you call mental support right there. I can feel your focusedness. And I'm always so focused too. Sometimes when I do line work, I feel like people are like holding their breath with me. It's funny. Everybody's like so quiet whenever I do art or line work. You're doing your nails and the what I'm doing. <laughs> That's a good idea. Smart idea. Good job. It's one of my students. I'm proud of you for doing that. This one hand down, guys. Oh, I do sell these brushes. They'll be back in stock probably mid month. This is my striper brush. It's a longer, my long, one of my longer ones.
This brush is the same from the same company as my acrylic brushes. So the bristles are actually from Kalinske. That's why you see how nice and fine it is. Mm hmm. They'll be back in stock um, close to the end of the month. Is that the brushing you smoke? Uh, what do you mean? It can be used for a lot of things. Um, with the strapper brush you can use for doing long lines mainly. There's a lot, like this brushes I'm using right now is my ombre flat brush. It's used to, the bristles are Kalinsky, these ones. That's why it absorbs the polish so nice. This black gel, I'm telling you, man, it's like, <laughs> I don't think there's any black gel art paint out on the market right now. That's the consistency of this. Maybe one person that I know of that may have the same consistency as mine, but I reformulated this based on what my other educators, um, they ask, you know, I tell them, hey, use it. And I also ask a lot of them, um, you know, students and people that bought my my previous ones, say, hey, how, how do you like it? And then what, what would you like change? And, I make changes. I always consistently have to make changes to my product to make it better and better. And when this black came in, I'm like, wow, this is it. I love it. I love it to pieces. Look how it applies, guys. And it just keeps, it keeps the sh the shape. See that? It doesn't move. Do you change the color ones? Uh, no, the color ones stays the way they are. Um, because the color ones, if I change it, it's gonna be too committed. Um, I, I may change, I may not change it, because I don't know how what it would look like with the color ones. The black, I was able to change. The color ones, I. They're definitely would charge me a lot of money to change that formula. That's like twelve colors, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I have a, I have might have a whole different stuff coming in soon. But the color pigment ones, they're they're good the way they are because it's nice and thick. So you do good lines, and you can also paint the same like this. that I used to go back to and redefine these lines the corners the edges if you're gonna do it do it right take your time okay don't get lazy you didn't spend an hour on a set just get lazy in the finishing part and make have a crappy finished product because you just got lazy make sure everything is precise crisp I'm bring this up a little bit higher. So this is a little bit lower. So you can always make adjustments, okay? Nothing's committed.
my next giveaway is probably gonna be this black gel paint and some of my matte and top coat. So if you haven't followed IG yet, make sure you follow us in the pin link below. Boom. Just stand it on right here. Bring it up here. Perfect. We'll finish up with the thumb and we'll put that one letter A in her nail for her boyfriend that's not paying for her in his na the nails. Make him pay for your nails next time. Test them, see if you, see if you can afford it. How much he, uh, Haley? Pardon? How much do you think, he, how much he, does he think your nails cost? Oh, he knows how much nails. So he offered to pay? Yeah. And make it, let him pay for it. Um. You can save that money and take me out for lunch. <laughs> I don't know, probably. You want that initial on the nail, make him pay for it. You feel like a man. Okay, in. Okay, I'm gonna do one old English A on her nail. Which one do you want? Ring finger or pointer finger? Ring. Ring finger, huh? Haley, don't move. Okay. All right, put my stuff away. Stop teasing her. Now I'm gonna use my top coat. You want it shiny, right? Yeah. What happened here? Okay, go switch. I'm gonna put a mat on first to protect your nail, then top it, okay? just because I want to show them what my matte taco can do. So I'm gonna put a thin layer of matte on this, kind of seal in the black. Sometimes smooth surfaces like this black will cause the, um, the gel to crinkle, so I'm gonna matte it first. And let's just get to see what my matte is all about. Yeah. 
my mat is not runny. It's like a nice, nice consistency. Like one coat. And you'll be able to get that nice matte, velvety matte. Yes, y'all, I've been testing these, this product for months, so they're finally here. You guys have been hearing me talking about my mat, my Tomco for a while. A long time. I'm actually excited that it's finally here. I've really been waiting for this. This, this is some good product, guys. I'll be honest with you. At the end of the day, no cap. You're gonna be happy with this um, with this product. It's gonna give you that nice shine. It's gonna as long as you paint. Oops. I actually got some. Let the brush onto my glove. Hey Lee, I'm gonna beat you with a stick. You're leaning your finger, child. Just cover that on my sweater. Huh? Just cover that on my sweater. <laughs> Oh no, my brush. I put it in wrong. All right, get in. Don't lean this thumb. <gasps> Is it? Look at that, guys. Is that madness? I said madness. See how crisp it looks. Check it out. The thumb okay? You're leaning the thumb. I'm telling you guys, like my shit is it. It's the truth. Or what if it's weight in gold? Don't lean the thumb. Have the thumb lift it up. Let's take one look at this mat again before we put a top coat on because she wants it shiny. Look at that, oh my God. It's so sexy. Oh, mm. The top coat will probably be on the site today. And the mat, here's the top coat. Cannot be beat this top coat. The formula is perfect. Medium consistency. Doesn't bleed. Nice and shiny. Very thin, you don't need a lot. There's a nice, the formula I made this is so nice and even. You just do a very thin coat, get a nice and even distributor. You will not lose your shape, I guarantee you. It'll be nice and shiny. Very thin. Very thin. It'll be on, it should be on right now or it should be on later tonight. I just got the order in today. I gotta bring it to the warehouse so that they can put it up. I already sent them the information so they should already put it up already. Oh my god. Go ahead. See that? You don't need to use a lot, just very thin, a very thin coat, guys. Barely even have need a drop of, of top coat on the brush. It gives it a nice, clean coat, okay? There's some primo shit right here.
Ouais. 